Welcome to the Collaboration Space, everyone. I'm Nancy Lucere from AVI SPL. And in today's episode, we're gonna be focusing on the return to work and specifically the technology that's gonna drive that. And to help me do that today with me is Christopher Gastic from Liberty AV. Hi, Christopher, how are you today? Good, how are you doing this morning, Nancy? Good, good. Um, so Christopher, can you share with me some of the trends that you're seeing for the return to work? Absolutely, yeah. Definitely some of the trends we're seeing for return to work is definitely technology focused. Uh, smart buildings is the best word I can use to describe it, right? So what these uh, companies are looking for as they are deciding their return to work strategies, right? A lot of them are starting to adopt hybrid models with, you know, reserving spaces, going to the office, right? So you're going to see this major shift in trend for the technology to support those efforts. Um, right. This includes health and safety, uh, digital signage, uh, scheduling panels, and occupancy, occupancy sensors, et cetera, to support that model. So obviously the whole story is, you know, you arrive at the office, you've got the thermal imaging, you know, scanning for any, for any high fevers. Uh, also the uh, tracking of visitors, a lot of registration programs, or, you know, software to, to register visitors, keep track of everybody coming in and out, in and out of the office, who they're seeing to minimize risk and exposure. But then once you get into the office floor, the whole traditional model of, of, of you know, assigned desks, uh, you know, has kind of changed, right? So now it's, you're showing on site, sure. you're reserving a desk to use mm -hmm. for the day, right? Uh, so there's the, the integration of Office 365 to reserve those spaces, the digital signage to tell you where to go, what's being used, right? Um, <clears throat> and definitely the occupation sensors. Mm -hmm. You know, we've seen a couple of models where they're putting one at each desk so they know when they're being used, when they're not being used. Uh, so you know, all the tracking purposes at the end of the day for utilizing those spaces. Yeah, a lot of different things going on and, and hybrid work is certainly the word of the day, right? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So Christopher, do you see that our AV and UC spaces are going to need to change as well? Yes, absolutely. So the other trend to support that is, and it's always been this trend before COVID and it kind of accelerated, was the standardization of spaces, right? Uh, especially global footprint. So your employees walk into any meeting room and being able to use it, right? So having a similar technology to, to use standardization across all the offices. So as they move around, easy to use, right? Um, and definitely easy to schedule. So they're very adaptable to, to, to be used. <clears throat> yeah. And so there's going to be all of these new collaboration spaces and hopefully they'll be standardized, but people will still need support from time to time. So do you Absolutely. see the role of the AV and IT support technicians changing as well? Absolutely. Yeah. And because now they're going to have to adopt people working from home, people working in the office, they want to yeah. minimize people in person showing up the office to fix issues. Right. So you're going to see this major shift in, in, in adoption of tools uh, to support those efforts. So this is remote monitoring tools so they can monitor the, the AV spaces, the IoT monitoring of all the equipment in that space or the even the personal's uh, laptop at home. Right. So uh, all the way down to what's the internet connection at employee's house uh, to mm, support yeah. those those connections, right? Um, but also minimizing having someone actually go on site. So having these tools to troubleshoot the the room or the equipment remotely, uh, whether or not it's it's recycling the power on a certain device remotely. So reducing truck rolls as as much as possible, um, but also streamlining that support as well, right? So. With those remote tools and, and, and ticket management, if you do need to roll a truck, you know exactly what needs to be done, right? So you're minimizing that time on site. You're minimizing the, the labor hours to to actually resolve the issue and get that space up and running again. Um, and then communication, right? So obviously, mm -hmm. you know, what are, the what are the methods of communication that you can implement to support those models, whether it's a, you know, a QR code you scan with information on that device, how to videos and uh, you know, be able to trigger a phone call through that same experience to assist your support desk, right? Mm -hmm. um, just streamlining that whole remote support. <clears throat> and it sounds like remote support is going to help us with our health and safety too, right? Because the less time yes. you need to spend in the room, you know, the safer you are. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. And I like the idea that you mentioned of the QR codes with, you know, I can get help just, you know, with my mobile phone. That sounds great. So all helpful information to share. I want to thank Christopher Gastic from Liberty AV for joining us today. Thank you. 
You're welcome. And also, of course, want to thank all of our listeners for joining us today. And don't forget to subscribe to the, our YouTube channel at AVI SPL Info. And if you want to listen on the go, you can subscribe to the audio version of our podcast, The Collaboration Space, on Apple iTunes, Pandora, iHeartRadio, or your favorite podcast app. Until then, I'll see you next time. For more information, visit avispl.com slash liberty hyphen AV.